Hello, my lovely friends. Welcome back to San Dorado. Today, uh, we're starting off with time lapse as normal. Uh, time lapse ends about 12 minutes, 50 seconds, something like that. So if you want to skip that, go ahead. But um, in the time lapse, we are going to be building um, some stadiums. Um, we're going to plop down the match day stadium and as well as the university uh, football field. And as well, we are going to move the track and field from the main campus and we're going to move it across the highway. Um, I just really want to get some, I don't even know how you describe it, I'm not a sports person, but I just want to get some activity going on this side of the city. Um, some traffic, some volume, that kind of stuff. I just want to get that going in the city. So, um, and previously this area pretty much was, there's nothing going on in it. So I want, definitely wanted to get some, get stuff, get some life over in the side of the city. And I, and I definitely think we achieved that. So, um, I changed the intersection. Um, I just got this intersection off the workshop because sometimes I can't even be bothered with intersections, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> it's just... As most of you know who play this game, sometimes intersections can be the bane of existence. But you know, it's alright. Um, and for the most part, this intersection handles the majority of the traffic. Um, sometimes it gets backed up, like if there's a game going on or something like that, but it's okay. And we do a few um, overpasses just to get some of the university people over on the other side of the highway. I don't think I'm 100% on the overpass work that I did, but um, it, you know, it's something that could always change. But yeah, and then um, essentially what this area is, is, I do some high density commercial and residential over in this area as well, um, just to kind of give this area a purpose and a sense of meaning, shall we say. And then the more I thought about it, the more I think I'm going to tinker with the um, transit over here. I don't love how this train line goes directly through this intersection here so we might play with that we might take a look at that because i think i've kind of come up with an alternative for this so we will definitely take a look at it yeah and the, this whole like, junction area that we have going on with the train line i like it i do um just sometimes I look at it and I think it can get a little messy. So I think we'll also take a look at that and change it, which is no big deal. Because I think a good look at transit is overdue for this region. Or for, excuse me, for the city at least, at least the city of Rhodes. Because I feel like I've kind of just plopped down bus lines and like rail lines just for the hell of it. Just to kind of get things going, I haven't really put a lot of finesse into it. So maybe we'll, we will take a look at that in a future video. Yeah. But I'm actually pleased at how this intersection played out. Because I feel like plopping down a pre-made intersection on an area that has a lot of terraforming. Or a lot of variations in the levels it can be quite challenging. But um, um, luckily enough, I think I think we we did okay with it. Yeah, but like a nine percent grade going from like under the intersection to the little overpass—that's too much. So that, that, that's something I definitely think we're going to take a look at. Yeah. So essentially, around the um, at least the match day stadium, we do a lot of parking lots and everything. Um. Am I 100% satisfied with it? Mm, not really. But I think it works, the final product, and I don't feel like spending a whole bunch of time redoing it. Just because I feel like it's just one of those situations where you gotta look at it and be like, meh, it works, it's fine. <laughs> so, um, end of story, it's fine. But yeah, I do love this, um, I do love the football stadium asset because it's massive and to be honest they are massive so I do feel like it's fairly accurate's the wrong word but I feel like it's very lifelike in terms of how it really would be in real life 
But yeah, we do a lot of access roads and I didn't want the main road going directly into the stadium area. So I do kind of like a, almost like a roundabout, not a literal roundabout, but it's a roundabout way of getting to it. Um, pretty much have everything off to the back. So you do kind of have to go through the higher density areas to get to this area, which I'm fine with, it, it, you know, it works. And then I tried to use this, this um, for lack of a better term, farming grid with the dirt roads as much as possible to kind of guide where I do everything. Um, it, it didn't turn out as realistic as I would like it to, but it's, it's all right. Because um, back in the day and like with Western expansion, um, and of course, if you want a true history lesson on this, please watch one of um, City Planner Play's videos because he actually has an education in it and does a very well, very great job very great no oh, no my gosh no grammar it does a great job of actually explaining it but essentially like they mapped out things in like one mile grids with the western expansion of the united states and um things are kind of gridded out that way so that's what, kind of what i wanted to do with this for like the areas i had not developed yet um they have those grids which i still have them in some of the areas like over in like del mar um, I have some grids, and then in some some places in this city, I do still have the grids, which I did need, as you can see here, I have a massive residential demand, so I did, you know, kind of fill in one of the um, gridded areas. Um, not 100% entertaining. Oh, and I do realize I put the roundabout the wrong way. I do fix that later. <laughs> so, I do fix it. But yeah, so I wanted to kind of try to and i kind of abide by this later i do kind of i did want to abide by the um the natural road layouts but i feel like with a stadium complex like this there would have been like a master master development plan so i feel like they wanted to i feel like the architects involved in this just kind of wanted to like stake their claim for lack of a better term they wanted it to be fun they wanted it to be different. They wanted it to be um, impressive. So it wouldn't necessarily have been something that just kind of follow the um, natural landscapes and road guidelines of um, the area. So that's kind of my thought process behind it. Does it make total sense? It does in my mind, <laughs> at least. So it's okay. But um, oh yeah, over towards the airport, um, I do try and kind of keep to that road guideline. And especially on the other side of the city, kind of towards like the oil field, I really keep to that grid when I um, start adding in some, just some low density residential, some neighborhoods. So, and I feel like kind of throughout the city, there are some gridded areas. And I feel like in theory, those would have kind of had that same concept going on. <laughs> yeah. But as you can see, like you kind of take the avenue back onto the other side, you go through the roundabout, and then you go through the runway streets to kind of either go to the football stadium or to the match day stadium. And then I just use these um, parking lot roads, which if you've been watching Sandorado for a little while, I use them everywhere. They are a pain in the ass. Um, and I honestly, I'm not going to end up adding in the... Um, parking lines just because I kind of want to save a little bit of assets and I kind of feel like it's fine otherwise because with massive parking lots like that I mean I feel like that'd be so much money spent on paint and like line maintenance so so I, I don't end up adding it I may in a future time period but for now I think I'm fine with it so and other than that, like, I don't add as much detail into those parking lots. I mean, I add some trees and everything and kind of just polish it up a little bit, make it look a little better. But um, I kind of wanted to keep it just a little more simplistic because in theory, nobody's going to be using it. They're just going to be there because people get dropped off um, or they park their cars, they get out of their cars and the cars just disappear. <laughs> That's just the game engine. That's just the game dynamics of it. So... And one thing I do and I don't love is I have like just like some random paths going everywhere and there's not a lot of thought behind it. So I do wanna kinda go back eventually and fix the random path.
paths everywhere. Like, I do like this kind of wandering nature path around the back. But, I mean, like what I'm doing now, like, I think I end up changing it because I add a lot of crosswalks and everything to the, to the other side of the city so people wanted to walk to the football stadium. Because I think when I was doing all this, I kind of, there were times when I forgot that the football stadium was also a part of the university. So I didn't necessarily add a whole bunch of pedestrian connections, which there would be a lot. So that's something I definitely go back into and add. But yeah, there's definitely a lot, like, immediately there's definitely some traffic. Um, it's more so just from people going to the, um, going to the dump and everything like that. And the recycling center and that kind of stuff. And I did forget about this darn train station. So I had to delete all that and then kind of add. Because I didn't necessarily have an initial concept in my head about what I wanted to do with that train station because I to be completely honest I don't know if it's actually functional in terms of whether you can make a line going there or not I know there will be I know that you can get um inner city trains going into it because they're for a while I had a whole bunch of people waiting and I even deleted the railway railway because I didn't want that happening at the moment but they still showed up and they were still waiting there even though when I deleted the the um act of the access so who knows but essentially what I'm doing here, I end up changing. So, and I think I have a thought on what I actually want to do with it. So I think we will address that at a later date. Which is fine. Because I think transit is something I definitely want to spend an entire live play episode doing. That's definitely not something I want to do um, with the time lapse. That's something I kind of want to focus on individually. But yeah. And I also feel like since this was a master planned area, they would definitely have implant, um, imported some trees because in this area, the city palm trees would definitely not have grown naturally. So I, I definitely think that they would have, um, you know, spent a lot of money transplanting trees, which is fine because I think the palms look okay. these darn parking lots and the, one of the other bad things is nothing really aligned into a grid so i don't remember how i kind of counteract that so it's okay perfect so we're coming up on the live play so i will talk to you all in just a moment All right, friends, back in live play. So, um, this is what I've done so far. I, I, it's nothing overly interesting. I mean, I just added some higher density and some more residential, um, an elementary school, nothing of major significance. Um, I just kind of cleaned up the area, added a little bit more detail. I'm not 100% with it yet, but you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. Um, so. The highway exit's pretty popular. This road's pretty popular. I did add a slip lane for um, stadium traffic here, which, eh, again, not perfect, but it's all right. And then I'll bring people over here. And then, of course, this track and field is an extension of the university, and this, this pedestrian bridge is pretty popular. So, yeah. <clears throat> but in terms of residential, we have some high density commercial, high density residential here, kind of tapering down to um, lower density. And then we get over to the airport area. So lovely, we love to see it. But um, other than that, nothing special. Um, I did connect up this little train station because no matter what I did, I can't turn off the train station to um, disallow inner city uh, trains, <clears throat> which is fine, I guess. Um, because people were just stand there and queue at the um, station anyways, so whatever. Um, so I wanna do a few things in this episode. I wanna plop down a building just to kind of eat up this area here in the university. So let's go ahead and do that. So we have a school of medicine and a school of law. So I'm not in love with any of these buildings, but I mean, they'll, they'll do. So what would it look like? I just drag you out let's say to there and then we'll drag it so we can have pedestrian connectivity perfect 
And then let's add a school of law. That'll look nice. How big is the school of medicine? Wait, don't I have the school of medicine downtown? What is this? School of science, excuse me, okay. So for right now, um, we'll just keep the school of law. And then um, I'm thinking of just like a nice quad or something like that in this area here. I'm not ready to fully realize it yet. So maybe, what do we have? We have a statue here. Let's just put some statues in the corner, why not? And then we will just connect you up with some lovely paths. Although I don't want guidelines. Let's take you here to here. Lovely. Where's my node? There it is. And then let's take you here to here. You here to here and then over here. And then drag you out. And then we'll have you connect up there. Nothing special. You know, just kind of a place where people can gather. Oh, I think I want to... Ooh, I don't like, how the, I don't like the way that ends. It's fine. Leave it alone, John. Okay, so <clears throat> that'll be good. I don't like this back area. Uh, that's a little bit better. Eh, it's fine. Leave it alone. Okay, that's fun. I don't like that quad, but we're not gonna keep it very long. So we got the School of Medicine. How does that, does that change our... Oh, we should definitely level up them. Cool. We got plenty of capacity, I think. Oh, we want something. And there's a dead person. Cool. Why is that such low? Okay, you just gotta zoom in. So, um, something I wanna do is I wanna start the international terminal here um, and the airport. So let's just go ahead and give that a go. So, cause I want big planes coming in because now that we have the tourist area, I think it would be beneficial to start this tour or the um some more people coming in on planes so let's go ahead and just remove our tree friends here don't worry we will replace you okay and then actually i think i might keep that little lagoon i don't know why it was just speaking to me all right so let's go into airports and let's see what our options are for in terms i don't want to i want to go super modern Oh, okay. That's fine. We will just drag you out. All right, so let's take a look. Let me just, let me just have this make sense. Okay, so. For right now, let's just have this here. And then there was a custom asset, here it is, the modern wood terminal. Let me turn off Anarchy, because I'm not exactly sure where the nodes are for this hub. Let's go back to this. Is it right there? Okay. I want, but I want to use this modern. This one's so cool. All right. Well, let's just twenty-two, and then twenty-one. Really? <sighs> Fine. Because I want to see what I can do with a semi-small. There's 22. Why is it? I don't like the way it's doing this. Whatever. 21, 22. It's fine. 
All right, so let's go to our big, big, big gates. Large aircraft stand. How many can we fit in here? Is it only gonna be two? Might, I might be able to fit one, two, six. Because if I do some at the end caps, that would be, and I'm fine, I'm honestly fine with six, six gates. Let me just, let me just take this here. Sorry, the airport needs your land. All right, and then we will come out like that. That's fine. All right. So, oh, no, hello. Hello. Okay. And then there's six. And then now our friend Anarchy will come into play. All right, I'm thinking something like this, duplicate. And then how does... Is that okay? Mm, I think so. I think for right now, I only want to do it on this end cap. Because I know it's going to cause a lot of confusion. Not confusion. Um, it's going to be kind of a mess in terms of the taxiways. Alright. Let's just straighten you out. And then let's move you. So, and then I think I'm going to eat a little bit more into this land here. Okay, come on out. Just because we are going to need a lot of room for the stupid taxiways. All right, let's go here to here. And then, since this is a wide body facility, dang it, I don't want to eat into this lagoon. I can make it look pretty, it's fine. Do I want to have to do a full tile like that? You know, I might have to. In which case, I'm going to have to bring it back even more. Okay, hold on, let me let me get a wide body. What is, what is our... What does the wingspan look like? Oh, I can definitely, okay, I can definitely move that in. What are all these decals doing? Okay, so, because actually it might be even a little too close to um, the building here. Let's go like this. And then I want to pull it away from the terminal a little bit. There we go. Good lord, that's massive. It's going to have to be bigger than I thought it was. I mean, that's fine. It's going to have to take more land. Eminent domain. All right. So, let's do it like this. And then I think I wanna do... Like this. Like this. Did that 
That didn't connect. This is why I hate having anarchy on when I'm doing stuff like this. All right, connect. And then how far apart are you guys? It's covering it. Seven, okay. Six, seven. already occupied. Of course the space is already occupied. Alright, five, six, seven. Okay, now anarchy. Oh, it doesn't line up. Gosh, that irritates me. I mean, I can just pull it out. And I also feel like we have a bunch of unnecessary nodes. Like, why is there a node? Does there need to be a node in the middle there? All right, that's fine. And then let's have you connect up to here. No. Mm. Okay. Oh, did you like that little trumpet sound? That was fun. Okay. And then let's, I think I'm just gonna curve this one. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll do the connections into the actual terminal there in a second. I just need to, again, pull everything away. All right. Because that's an active runway, so that's gonna be a little bit cumbersome. Six, seven units. See, it's still a little too close there. And what actually I might do, hmm, what's the best way to do this? Because I do kind of want to add an entrance. But it's gonna have to be like over here. And I feel like that's gonna look a little weird for the international arrivals. I mean, otherwise everything will be coming into here. I mean, I could do that and then add like two more gates. But I think for now, let's just say that it, um, the current capacity was fine. And that's weird to me, how you can add these at any angle. Hmm. Alright, we got multiple international airlines coming in, so there's going to be multiple airport lounges. Sure. Why are they different colors? Ah! It's fine. Whatever. Alright, I think I'm going to get this area kind of squared off. Ooh, that bothers. So, what I'm going to do about that, since my symmetry bug is kicking in, I'm going to pull you to here, and hopefully, yeah, that's fine. And then, how far away are you? You're eight, okay. Seven, eight units. Is it tilted? I mean... Let's bring... Alright, hold on. Let's bring you right on the runway. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so... You go in line with that. 
And then you are gonna come right in line with this, hopefully. All right, let me delete this. And that's not bad. All right, let me delete these nodes and put them where I want them. Not bad. All right, well, <laughs> it's not good either. Okay, and then you are gonna come right into here. So, and again, it's not connecting. There we go. Would you look stupid if you did that? No, that's not horrible. All right, and then you, ooh, I don't like that. Let me delete this node. Okay, and then you are going to come straight down like that. Same with the, mm, I guess. Oh, that's ugly. Okay, in which case I might do that. And I might do that. Then hopefully I can clean up. Yeah, that's fine. That's still weird. Oh, it's not connected. That's why. Okay. Can we do the join nodes here? Is that our? Is that a thing? Nope. Again. Not doing it. Okay. Let's do it this way. There we go. It's ugly at the moment, but it's fine. I don't like the idea of them having to cross the active runway. But at this point in time, there's really not much else I can do about it. See, I love how angular this part is, and then this is like just so squared off. It's not my favorite. All right, so this goes counterclockwise, and then this would go clockwise. Okay, down, 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 and then turning, and then around. I mean, it's one of those things where I feel like I'm just going to have to let it play and see how it goes. What I do want to try, actually, is I want to see if I can just soften this corner. Yeah, that's not bad. And then can I do any... Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, that's gonna bother me. Okay, and then let's take this for the last and final time. Hopefully. And scooch you like so. It's annoying because I gotta pay attention to both sides. It's fine, leave it, okay. All right, and now let us join, what is it, Metro? Hello, Metro, tram, Metro, okay. And I gotta go underground. Of course, there is not a metro station over here. Okay, that's fine. Train station. Elevated. St okay. That's gonna have to do. 
Oh, see, I would love it right here. Oh, but it's elevated. No. Oh. All right, so this is gonna be a lot more involved than I thought. Do you have a metro? You do have a metro. All right, um, am I gonna have to like completely restructure this whole thing? Dang it, dang it, dang it. Do you, you don't have a metro station, do you? You don't. Okay, what are you? Can I put you? Hmm. That's too big. See, I would love to put this here. Or that there. But I feel like that's just too big. All right, what are our options here? You guys don't have metro stations, do you? No, so it's only the curved ones. Okay, so, hmm. I mean, I hate to have to put a terminal here. Because then there's no cohesion. I'll figure it out. But look, we got an international terminal. Uh, do I like the wood? Yeah, the wood's fine. Um, obviously, I'll, I, I will add detail work to all of that. Do I love it? Um, It's okay. You know, it's not groundbreaking. But I feel like that's how an international satellite terminal would look. So, it's all right. All right, what is... Oh, you don't like that. All right, well, you need to go this way. And then you can go that way. And you can go that way. All right, I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And then I think I'll do some more work off camera. Or do a time lapse of me, because this whole area kind of needs a little bit of renovation. I can move these um, hangers here, and that would be fine. So I think I think I'll add. I don't want to delete. The, I don't want to mess with this area because I just redid this. And since this is the old part of the terminal, I could technically revitalize that and delete this area here. And then do something here, even though I just added the train station, but I feel like that that can always move. So I'll play around with it, and I'll, I'll let you know what I guys what guys what I do. So I think that's fine. Ooh, I should, probably should turn it off since there's no connections there. Turning off, 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 and then I gotta download some realistic wide body aircraft um because the in-game ones are pitiful so that is that are you all turned off you aren't all right it's turned off for now perfect uh well thank you guys for watching i truly appreciate it if you like today's video please like and subscribe that kind of stuff and we will catch you in the next video oh one more thing I did bring this back to a bridge. I just I just feel like the tunnel wasn't realistic. So I did unfortunately cut off a connection over into um, this area here. I forget the Dalton station. So um, it's all right. Maybe we'll add another bridge here at some point, just because as the city grows, there would be a lot more connection points. And I do feel like the density in this area would, uh, would grow eventually. So we'll cross that bridge literally when we get to it. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Have a lovely, have the day you have, and we'll see you next time.